Greetings in the name of Yeshua Hamashiach, the Lord Jesus Christ, the King of Salem, Melchizedek, our Lord and Savior, the Lamb of God, the last Adam, the Prince of Peace, tribe of Judah. Today, um, I wanted to um, talk about the, uh, the DNA of the Jewish people. Let me tell you something that I understand. There are three groupings in human history which is divided by the sons of Noah. Uh, we can tell you this is a black, white, and yellow. The, the black is a Hamitic, the white is a Japhet, and the uh, yellow is the um, Semitic. But uh, uh, it's not really, really the accurate because it never started with the um, um, black person, or white person, or Chinese came with a, with a black, white, and yellow. Uh, when Adam, uh, Adam the firstborn, uh, uh, no, no, Adam, the creation of the image of God, the first human being, the Adam and Eve, I believe the, uh, the people were just like, just like uh, uh, olive skin, uh, no, they were not white or they're not black or the you can call it the Middle Eastern uh, Semitic lineage and all uh, Ham, Shem and Japheth were the same color but uh, the, the when um, each person goes to the different climate and the time zone the, uh, they are changing their skin color and it became um, um, a different type of uh, um, human beings, but this is uh, all the same from the one seed, okay? And Shem, Ham, and Japheth, each um, tribes has had uh, the different um, uh, wives to 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 multitude into the world okay let me let me tell you uh, one major um, uh, groupings in the Jewish diaspora in the Jewish Eretz Israel, Israel that the uh, Jewish people in Israel the DNA is the the Okay, let me tell you the major group. The largest group is about 60% is the J1. J1, J2, and also I1 and I2 are brothers. They are called the uh, Semitic lineage and uh, coming from the, the Middle Eastern area be, between in the northern part of Iraq, the, which is the like the um, uh, exact portion of where the, the Laban had uh, uh, Rachel and, and uh, Leah, uh, the maid servant, uh, Zilpah and Bilha, uh, the, the, the 12 sons, the, the mothers, four, four Jewish mothers and one Jewish father, Jacob. So it has to be uh, supposed this uh, lineage coming from one seed is a Semitic lineage. And uh, this is really confusing because uh, uh, today, 
uh, the Jewish DNA. Uh, let me tell you, the, 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 the second largest group is called the E1B. And the E1B1B is a 40% of a Jewish uh, population in Israel. And um, um, this is also E1B1B, is a, it's called the Afro-Semitic or North African or East African DNA. The why they call it Afro-Semitic is because uh, um, the, that part of Africa, the African continent itself, Africa itself is a borrowing culture. And when you go to the West, West Africa, the, the, the most of our West African culture uh, in, in introduced, I mean, um, uh, Western, Western culture, because a lot of Europeans uh, uh, excavated and, 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 and created the, the nation uh, called Nigeria, Ghana, uh, all these countries, um, even in the southern part, South Africa. Uh, this part is 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 the um, Bantu Niger uh, Congolese speaker, and uh, their DNA is E1B1A, and um, this is not the Jewish DNA, but this is Sub-Saharan Black African Bantu DNA, but in a contrast of the the the, the, the twin. E1B1A and E1B1B is all the same E1B1. E1B, haplogroup, and uh, E1B1B, uh, mostly North Africa, Morocco to Egypt, Egypt to Somalia, the most, uh, the largest groupings in Somalia, E1B1B, and this is uh, recognized as a North eastern part of Africa. I don't believe this is a, a purely Semitic origin of which is derived in the Middle East. My personal opinion. So um, whomever uh, as, as a Jewish culture, whomever wanted to convert it to becoming a Jew um, since this this is a day of the the, the, the the time has been kept since the, the time of uh, the Jews ex exiled from Egypt, it's a one third of a population of Jewish diaspora were Gentile or the nations who embraced the the, the God of Israel. So the one third of a population when they crossed out from the Red Sea were described they were not the sons of Jacob. And Moses also commanded is, is, is you have to treat them as your own kind of people. So if you say it, E1B1B is not uh, Jewish DNA, but even if E1B1B groups were, were, were converted into 40% of a population in the Middle East. Uh, uh, any other Jews supposed to be uh, no complaint but to accepting, adapting, and receiving as the same own uh, brothers and sisters. But I didn't say. E1B1B is not Jewish or is a Jewish because of it is still on process. As I didn't say, uh, from J1, J2, I, I1, and I2 are confirmed Semitic origin of Middle Eastern, but I believe that's just that's, that's my instinct, ide ideology, um, how the, the um, um, Semitic DNA because of 
I don't think that when Laban, Rachel, and, and Leah, sons of Jacob, they call themselves a Canaanite or the sons of Ham. It's a very separated when it comes to the um, family tree. So it's, it was selected when uh, um, uh, Eliezer, the sons of Abraham, uh, look for the Isaac's wife, Rebecca, Isaac's wife, Rebecca, and um, uh, also, also when when a, a Jacob look look for look for her family, um, it has been selected. It's it's, it's a commanded. It's not to marry with the Canaanite, and the Canaanite a descendant today. The, they were E1B1B or E haplogroup, okay? E or D. E, D and E are the same haplogroup. Let me tell you, my understanding study on DNA, A and B are black, Bantu, Negroid Africans from West, West Africa, okay? A and B. C, C is the same grouping people who first uh, went into the north to mix into the uh, Japhet. That's a C. And uh, this is a C origin is the um, uh, Central Asia and the Siberian, mostly Siberian and uh, Mongoloid. That's a C. And it's still Hamitic, Hamitic uh, uh, haplogroup. And DE, DE is an interesting. E haplogroup is uh, concentrated in, in, in a continent in Africa. A, B is uh, close to the North and East Africa. And A grouping is uh, West Africa and Southern Africa. E1B1B and E1B1A. And also there are the um, DNA, uh, E1B1B. Uh, remember E1B1B, uh, they did find the, the, the Adolf Hitler uh, had an E1B1B, right? And, 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 uh, and uh, that's also I claimed this is not the Jewish DNA because E1B1B is a Adolf Hitler's uh, DNA, and he I, I don't I don't say he is the Jewish person descendant, but that's why I don't claim I never wanted to claim E1B1B is a Jewish because of he killed the six to seven million Jews. Okay, but in the contrast. Uh, Albert Einstein, okay, he had E1B1B, okay. The Adolf, Adolf, I mean, Albert, Albert Einstein, okay. It's the same, same with uh, uh, um, DNA with Adolf Hitler, Albert Einstein, E1B1B. But the, if if E1B1B is a Jewish, and then why did the uh, uh, adult, I mean, Albert Einstein looks like a like a, a Jewish if he's not because of a mitochondrial DNA from mother's side? He had to mix with uh, Semitic DNA, it's J O I, it's so mother's side, and maybe uh, mitochondria cannot f find the, the E one B one B from mother's side. Okay, so that the mother and father mixed and then. Then he possibly looks like a Jew. Albert Einstein possibly had the mother's side as a Jewish, her father's side is not. Ivan B1B that like he's a father's side. Okay. I didn't confirm Ivan B or the Jewish Semitic DNA. It's only only one Jewish DNA. Um, okay. Today 
there's also another groupings in the Jewish DNA in Israel. It's called R1 R R R1A R1A and R1B. Okay, these two groups, R1A and R1B, just like a J1 and J2 or E1B and E1 E1 E1B1B and E1B1A. Um, R1A is a totally different subgroups and they also claim to be they are the Semitic but mostly that the, this 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 uh, uh, haplogroup derived out from the the, the the India northern part of India and then they they went all, all the way to the central and Middle East and then they finally arrived in Europe and then this is a R1A and R1B is is the lineage of the uh, um, uh, uh, Europeans, Western European DNA, uh, Spanish, French, English, all European, mostly it's very common DNA type is R1A, R1B, also in India. So the skin pigmentation will be changed when the climate changes, but the seed remains the same. So the, so the three groupings uh, is a major uh, Jewish DNA. And the R1A, R1B group is about 40, 40%, okay? So, and, and, and the rest of them is a very similar uh, groupings. But it's the only one Jewish DNA comes from Semitic DNA. And do you think R1A, R1B are Semitic? Or you think E1B1B and E1B1A, E1B group are Semitic? Or the J1, J2, and I1, and I2, J and an I are Semitic? Only one Semitic groups. And uh, uh, some, some, per, some tribes are not coming from the Semitic lineage, or either Japhet or the uh, uh, Hamitic. I believe that the J1, J2, I1, I2 are the Semitic, and uh, E1, B1, B, E1, B1, A is a Hamitic, and J, R1, A, A, R1, B are Japhet, okay? And let me tell you, E1, B, Jewish haplogroup, let me tell you, E1, B, okay? And G, G is also considering the uh, uh, Jewish DNA. It, this is the interesting DNA, the Semitic DNA, coming from the Georgia, uh, Iran, uh, Northern Middle East, G, and uh, that's why G, A, B, C, D, E is a Hamitic. H, H, I, E, B, C, D, D, E, F. Okay, F, G, I, J, K is another Semitic uh, lineage. F, I, uh, F, I, J, K is a Semitic, okay. K, L, T is a Japhet, okay? T is also another groups in, in Israel, the uh, Jewish DNA, T, and also Q. But groupings is a Japhet, okay? And, and, um, a, okay, L, M, N, O, Okay, N O Japhet. Uh, this is uh, also uh, many in in far uh, east, like a Chinese is the um, the DNA is O haplogroup. Okay, East Asian O haplogroup, and N is a Siberian, and these groups are coming from Japhet. Okay, not the Semitic. Okay. 
and P Q D K L M N O P Q Q R Okay Q R T I Okay, these are the Jaffet, okay? So, but everybody believes they are coming from Semitic. So the groupings will be differentiate if a person believe uh, the R1A, R1B are Semitic and the rest of us is not Semitic, okay? If uh, E1B group say they are Semitic, no J1, J2, I1, I2, or the uh, another group is the R1A, R1B, T, Q are the Semitic. Only concentrate or every Jewish has to be in E1B and also has to be E1B1A is a sub-Saharan uh, DNA. Okay, so uh, J1, okay, J2 and uh, I1, and I2 uh, these groupings is the most uh, 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 kept in the, 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 the Middle Eastern and never crossing into to the Africa and there's some mixture between the, the, the when the Saudi Arabians uh, Islamic expanded into northern and eastern Africa they did mixed with the uh, uh, groups of uh, uh, Africans, so that the, the paternal line is passing into the the uh, descendant of uh, the, the when when did they, they did the, the, the slave trade and uh, relig religious expansion, Islamic expansion. They did mixed into the African, so that the, the paternal line became uh, some. Some became a J in North Africa and uh, East Africa, but that, that that was not the original case. Okay, uh, because of in Egypt, it's calculated that the uh, J J one and J two population is more more or less because of what. Their group is African E1B, and they are more common E1B1B and E1B1A. It's a mixture between. It's, a, it's the head of Africa is Egypt, so they're not a Semitic identity. They're African, but they can able to speak as a Semitic because they borrow the the culture, and uh, they understand the Semitic language. Okay. So that's why I would say the difference. So, so two third, okay, this is a two third of uh, Jewish uh, population uh, is not Semitic. So, you know, if you say that the tribe of Israel, it has to be coming from one Semitic lineage. Okay, this is a question. Who are the real Jewish tribe of Israel and descendant? And, and after the, the, the 21st century, the, um, whoever becomes the convert is allowed to become a citizen of Israel, right? The conversion. But conversion is not naturally processed or the, uh, the, their own individual choice to adapt to this culture, but it is not coming from the uh, original source of the sons of Abraham, Isaac, and Yaakov. So that's a different, right? But, but uh, the, the conversion always accepted any uh, Judaism that conversion is more important than a DNA. Okay, so there's a three groups of a Jewish diaspora. Sephardic is a Spanish, Portuguese, Ashkenazi 
is a German, uh, English, and and and, and, and uh, I think a northern part of Europe, and also uh, Mizrahi. Um, let me tell you also the Mizrahi DNA is a G, J. Okay, these are the Mizrahi uh, DNA. I probably think that J. G H I J is a Semitic, that's the most common ancestors in the Middle East. Okay, so the uh, groupings I want to tell you. Um, I don't think E1B are the Jewish DNA because I know that's the African Hamitic DNA, but the population is about more than 40% in Israel. Okay. R1A, R1B, uh, they claim they're the Semitic, but I don't think they are because of they are these groupings from the uh, N O Jaffet, okay, R1A, R1B, T Q, okay, T Q, um, T and Q, R1A and R1B are the same group, but it is uh, far away from the other groups and then I, I am surrounded by the Jaffet so I can't I don't think they are the Semitic the DNA okay so that either the, the African be converted to the Judaism even B group or the, the European or Indo 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 European converted to the Judaism is called R1A or R1, R1B uh, or the, 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 the J1 or J2 uh, they, they cannot explain